what is up guys this your boy Glock shot Glock shot gaming appreciate you uh, watching this video this episode of storytelling time anyways guys I, I really do appreciate the views that I'm getting with these you know these these videos these stories of mine I mean I, I don't know if you guys can relate to them or whatnot but it's a lot of fun talking to them you know talking about them and I enjoy it and why not put some monster ass gameplay? Get down! Look at that, dude. Tearing it up, playing a little A ground again. For some reason, I do good on A ground. You know, I don't know what it is. I just seem to do good on it, and uh, I enjoy it. It's probably one of my favorite maps. It's a good run around map. But on with the story. So, anyways, this one we're gonna call it "Rocking the Cradle." It says it. it you know, it's it's a name says it for its own. You can pretty much tell what it's gonna be about as we get this predator missile <laughs> anyways guys this is back in 1999 I just turned 21 you know we're waiting on Y2K I don't know where you guys were at where were you guys at in 1999 what were you guys doing and were you enjoying it waiting for the world to end <laughs> anyways 1999 I'm just turned 21 and I was pretty rowdy you know, me and my me and my friends, we used to have a good time back then. It was fun, you know. I mean, now that we're all grown up, it sucks. But anyways, me and my buddy Rob, dude, at the time, good friend of mine, best friend, you know, worked out together, worked for the city together, whatnot. He's that guy that always likes to fight, you know, that I talked about in my, my other video, my first video. But anyways, we used to love, for some reason, love going to the bowling alley on a Friday night getting drunk off our arses and just go bowling and hoot and holler and everything else but anyways so we're, we're at the bowling alley this is probably around August of 1999 and we're hooting and hollering and just screaming and yelling getting rowdy having a good time we know the managers we know the owners we're all cool with them and shit we're all good friends so you know we didn't have to worry about getting kicked out or anything like that but we're in this one lane, hooting and hollering, man. And then I hear off to the left of me, woohoo, hooting and hollering, loud as shit, you know, right back at us. Every time we scream, you know, this girl and all her friends would scream louder. So I was like, wow. So, anyways, it was these hot girls, and I guess they had their mom with them next to the lane, lane next to us. And we ended up hooking up with them. And there was a couple of them, you know, some hot ass Latin girls, you know, a uh, couple of them, a couple of them Latin girls, dude, just hot Latin. I think they're like Cuban and Italian mix. Her mom was Cuban, dad was, or dad was Cuban, mom was Italian. So it was kind of one of those, you know, those hot mixtures, you know, for, you know, hooking up with a girl or whatnot. But at the time, my buddy was actually looking into this Italian girl, right? And her name was, you know, I'm not gonna, well, I'm not gonna mention her name. We'll just say Tater Tot. That was her nickname we gave her back then. So hot ass girl, dude. Just you know, super sexy. But I was trying to hook up with her friend at the time, and I'm not gonna mention her name. But her friend was a blonde girl, just hot, you know, kind of that athletic, softball built, you know, type girl. So my friend was trying to hook up with her. Well, okay, this girl just turned, just turned 17, you know, and I just turned 21. My boy Rob at the time, he's 21, you know, around the same age. And, uh, you know, for about a couple weeks, you know, he's talking to her, you know, after we met her, we hooked up at the bowling alley and shit. He's talking to her and, you know, trying to. Look at this girl. Oh, come on, 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 come on. Oh, yes. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Good, good, good. Anyways, he's talking to her and he's telling me, he's like, man, I just don't think I'm going to build a hook up with her. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I just don't think it's going to happen, man. She, she ain't really, you know, you know, calling me back. I don't know. I don't know if I'm interested in blah, blah, blah. So I was like, all right, man. Hey, you mind if I, you know, holler at her? <laughs> he's like, I don't care. I don't care. So I'm like, all right, you know. So I started talking to her, man, and ended up, you know, we became pretty good friends. And about three weeks after talking to her, a couple weeks or whatever, we ended up hooking up, man. And 
The funny thing is, is her dad is a Broward County Sheriff's Officer now, okay? Dad's a Broward County Sheriff's Officer. Mom was a dispatcher for the city. Mom knew who, you know, mom, her mom knew my real age. But for two years, her dad thought I was 18. For two years, almost three years, until, you know, eventually me and this girl broke up. But for two years, he thought I was 18. And, you know, and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't my idea. It was, you know, it was their idea. So, I mean, but he was a, he was pretty cool. But see, he, he was gone in Miami for weekends. He would do details. Like the city would pay cops to come out and do details for like concerts or whatnot, whatever it was. So he was gone every weekend. So, I mean, I would go to her school, pick her up. I had a, I had a sweet little chop top mini truck, hydraulics painted green had the stereo system man man it was a badass little truck and uh, that's a whole nother story <laughs> but i'd pick her up on a friday and bring her back home on a sunday i'd pull up on her i pull up in her high school man and all her friends would be like who's that you know who's that picking her up but for two years her dad thought i was 18 and then after we broke up about six seven months after we broke up you know, I was at her dad's house and just talking, you know, kind of leave some closure to the family parties. Like, you know, I knew that you were, you know, over 21. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, I'm a cop. It's my job. And I really didn't think about it. I just thought he thought I was 18 for two years when I did see him. He was nice to me and shit. But, I mean, he just, he thought I was, I mean, he knew the whole time. So it kind of tripped me out. I'm like, oh, my God, I dated her and, you know. Wow, he didn't even know. So I don't know if you guys ever ran into a situation like that. I hope it wasn't too boring. It was kind of just a funny story, you know. And, uh, but anyways, you saw that final kill. That's a wrap, man. Yeah, I appreciate you guys, you know, checking out the video, watching it, going 30 and 5, being a star player. What an awesome, awesome ending to a game. Check it out. So, anyways, guys, you know, holler at your boy. You know, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you know stay tuned for next time and uh, you know comment right down below you can follow me on Twitter at Mr. Glock with a zero um, you know and uh, you know follow me on Twitter so play with my girl Danny Dynamo goes 9 and 10 <laughs> she goes 9 and 10 so but she's awesome I'll put a link down in the description you guys can holler at her man Danny Dynamo she's an awesome gamer chick she's got Twitch she does live stream and all that shit so she's a pretty cool girl she just had a fluke that game. I'm sorry, Danny. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yo, this is your boy Glock Shot. So, you know, we'll holler at you next time. Gotta go. See ya. Peace.